Hello everyone. Welcome to Law Minds. This is Vanaja Bhumiredi. In this video, I am going to discuss about the concept of social media censorship regulations. Before going to the topic, I want to discuss about what is social media and what is the role of social media in present day society. Social media is an important part of today's world. It helps people to stay connected and share ideas, thoughts and opinions with others in a safe and secure manner. Social media is nothing but the apps like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, LinkedIn and etc. Before going to the topic, I want to give you a brief introduction. Imagine living in a country where your freedom of speech is constantly under threat, where expressing your opinions and thoughts can land you in a jail. Welcome to India censorship regime, where censorship laws and regulations have come under fire for their potential to violate human rights. But what can be done to strike a balance between protecting freedom of speech and expressions while also ensuring that the public is not exposed to harmful or offensive content? As we all know that India is a democratic country and it gives us a fundamental right like freedom of speech and expression. And it is not an absolute right, it has some restrictions. So it is the duty of every citizen to give respect to another's and do not cause any harm to another's legal rights. So it is the duty of the government to balance between freedom of speech and expression while also ensuring that public is not exposed to harmful or offensive content. And the next one is, what is meant by censorship? Censorship is proclaimed to be a tool that is placed to keep a fair check on what comes into the public domain and how this information or data fulfill certain commonly accept acceptable standards to maintain harmony, peace and social order. From childhood to till now, definitely we have observed that the sound of bleeping when someone is speaking on television. That is censorship. And the next one is, how does censorship work in India? In India, censorship is directly and indirectly governed by different legislations, namely the Indian Penal Code, Code of Criminal Procedure, the Press Council of India, the Cinematography Act, the Cable Television. Further, there are several authorities that exercise censorship in India, namely the Central Bureau of Film Certification, the Press Council of India. Coming to the main topic, that is social media censorship regulations. Although there is no specific legislation in India which deals with social media, there are several provisions in the existing so-called cyber laws which can be used to seek redress in the case of violation of any rights in the cyberspace, internet and social media. Social media The online space is governed by the Information Technology Act 2000. The act still empowers the government to block, filter and take down content online. The government is also empowered to turn off internet access completely. The government amended new IT rules to social media platform in 2021. Giving the significant rate of growth of social media, its censorship has been growing point of concern in India. As still recent times, it was not under the direct supervision of any government authority or direct and specific regula regulation thus far. At present, the Information and Technology Act 2000 regulates social media uses and Section 67A, 67B, C and 69A in particular include the specific regularity clauses. Coming to the next one, that is freedom of speech and expression and social media. India as a democratic country values freedom of speech as a fundamental right enshrined in the constitution. Article 19 class 1A guarantees the right of freedom of speech and expression subject to reasonable restrictions for the protection of public order, decency and morality. So it is the duty of the government to balance between the freedom of speech and expression and social media content. And the next one is restrictions on freedom of speech and expression. The freedom of speech and expression does not confer on the citizens the right to speak or publish without responsibility. It is not an unbridled license giving immunity for every possible use of language and prevents punishment for those who abuse this freedom. Article 19 class 3 of ICCPR imposes restrictions on the following grounds. The first one is for respect of the rights of reputation for others, for protection of national security or public order or public health or morals. A chronological order of such events is as follows. In April 2012, Ambikes Mahapatra, a professor of chemistry in Jadwapur University in West Bengal, was arrested for posting a cartoon on West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee on social networking sites. In May 2012, 
two Air India employees were arrested by the Mumbai police for putting up on Facebook and overcut content that was against a trade union leader and some politicians. They were in custody for 12 days. From this, I want to conclude that Social media is a very powerful means of exercising one's freedom of speech and expression. However, it is also been increasingly used for illegal acts which has given force to the government's attempts at censoring social media. Where on the other hand, the misuse of social media entails the need for legal censorship. On the other hand, there are legitimate fears of violation of civil rights of people as an inevitable consequence of censorship.